Hi everyone, I'm Barry Stokes, here today to introduce you for the very first time to a brand new cutting edge technology developed by the folks at Lawrence. The Structure Scan system is a separate add-on module that works exclusively with the Lawrence HDS system. It plugs directly into your Ethernet port and gives you a left, a right view, and for the first time ever, a down scan image that gives you a look at what's below your boat in a different and better way than you've ever seen it before. If you're familiar with Lawrence's traditional down-looking sonar, then you're well aware that on the traditional screen, the image moves from right to left. We need to orient you to side viewing sonar and how it looks on the screen. Your boat position is top middle. The image moves from top to bottom historically. So as a new image comes into view, it will come into view at the top of the screen and it will move down the screen. What we have here is a left viewing sonar image and a right viewing sonar image and both are turned 90 degrees horizontally. We have iron intake pipes coming down into the water. Our boat is now traveling almost directly over the top of these pipes and you can see coming into the right hand view of your screen, clearly you can see those pipes running along the floor of the lake. You can actually see those same pipes going out the left hand side as well because we're traveling almost directly over the top of them. That is a very clear image. Next, let me show you what very well may be the most exciting feature of the structure scan system. It's the exclusive down scan view. So what we have is the Lawrence HDS-10 set up with the left and right views on the left hand portion of the screen. But on the right side, we have an image scanning straight down below the boat. It's gonna show us three different views of the same object. We've discovered out in front of this line of sailboats, a boat that has sunk is straight on the bottom of the lake and we'll be able to drive over it, show it to you on down scan and on the side images as well. Now you can see coming into the right side of your screen, that's the down looking view, the down scan. You can see that structure lying right up off the bottom. We think that's a old hull of a boat laying there and you can see a better view of it on the left hand side lying on the bottom the left looking view and you can actually see some on the right as well. Then coming into the top of your screen on the right looking view you can see a square concrete block lying right on the bottom. Now let's demonstrate the historical scroll back feature of the structure scan system. It allows me to split the screen with the side views on the left, the chart view on the right, drive over an object, let it leave the screen. Now I can arrow and scroll back in history, see that object again, and even mark a waypoint on it. Now, right here under the surface of the water, just off the nose of the boat, on the floor of the lake, we've discovered three or four old tires laying on the bottom. I'm going to drive across, show you those tires on the side views, let them leave the screen, arrow back, and even mark a waypoint on those tires so that I could come back to them. Okay, you can see coming right into left looking view, there are distinctly three or four tires laying on the bottom, those round donut looking circles. We're going to let that screen travel, let those tires move until they actually leave the screen at the bottom in history. Okay, here we go, there's our cursor. We're gonna move down, see the tires that come back into view. We've moved back in history. Now we're gonna move over to the tires put that cursor right over the tire and hit waypoint. Now we'll move it away just to show you. 174, we have a waypoint set right on those tires. You can see it on the chart on the right hand side of the screen as well. So we've got it on the chart and on the left hand view, we hit exit now and we're right back into a moving view. Next, we're going to demonstrate for you the incredible improvement that you get in the structure scanning technology versus traditional two-dimensional sonar down viewing technology that we've had in the past. So to do that, we're on a big cliff here. We're sitting out in about 40 feet of water and we've got a lot of standing trees right below the boat. We're gonna cruise across those and show you the difference. You're looking now at the HDS-10 screen split three ways. On the left-hand side of your screen, you see the left and right side looking views top right you see the down scan looking straight below the boat and bottom right you see the traditional two-dimensional sonar that we've always had now as we begin to cruise over these trees you can see 
the trees, and the, especially on the down scan view on the top right, you can see the entire tree standing up off the bottom, and you can see all of the individual branches of the trees. But look right below that, that same tree shows up as simply a blob. You could easily mistake that for a ball of bait fish or maybe a brush pile, but as you can see on the top right, you can see the whole tree and the individual branches. And you can also see those same trees on the side views on the left hand side of your screen. Now let's talk about the installation of the structure scan system. It consists of a module that distributes the signal to up to three HDS display units in your boat. And it consists of a transducer that contains all three, the left, the right, and the all new down scan image views all in one, all on a convenient kick up transducer bracket that will help prevent damage to your transducer. If you do run across an underwater obstruction, the bracket simply kicks up out of the way and you come back and move it back into place. If, however, you do permanent damage to the bracket, it is a quick and inexpensive replacement. So check out the all new Lowrance Structure Scan System coming soon to a retailer near you or get the latest details at Lowrance.com.